Welcome to my four foot by three foot little studio that I have set up in my room. I switched my camera over to my camcorder, which I haven't filmed on in a really long time. <coughs> Usually I paint for like 30 minutes at a time, but this is gonna be two hours. And I don't know if you guys have done anything for two hours straight without getting distracted and going on your phone, but it's actually really hard to do for me. Sometimes I procrastinate and hold off on projects because I'm making it super big deal and I'm afraid of failing and I'm afraid of making mistakes. It is, I think, a few hours later. I hyped it up again, which I wasn't supposed to do. And now I'm going to finish this because I have no choice but to finish it today. Because I'm leaving tomorrow for New York. And I gotta get the thing done. Oh, God. Let me look at my... I have about an hour and 40 minutes. Then I will do. I need to do some mixing. I have. 40 more minutes to finish this. It's 8 o'clock now. This is how much I've done so far. I actually really like how the underpainting is showing up. I think I need to add a bit more and finish up this strawberry. The amount of work it takes to actually... Shit. Color grade slash color match and blend colors to the color that I want in my head it takes the longest out of everything in this process. If I didn't do a good job of explaining why I did this, usually this type of canvas goes for a lot of money, but I got it for really, really cheap. I think it was $25. And I'm using it so that I can practice painting and not make it a big deal to make any pieces. And so I've been painting over paintings I've done in the past. So this is my third painting on this canvas. But I think what I'm gonna do is keep this one here, obviously, because I'm leaving tomorrow. And I'm going to finish it when I come back.